Hello, ich bin Kun, and today we're going to the entry of Germany at Eurovision 2023, Lord of the Lost, with the song Blood and Glitter. Germany picked a Eurovision entry with the national final again, this year called Unser Lied für Liverpool. First, there was a TikTok round, which gave a wild card to an artist who uploaded an entry to TikTok with the hashtag Unser Lied für Liverpool. And out of about 900 TikTok submissions, Ike Hüftgold won the TikTok wild card with the song Lied mit gutem Text. A lot of people were not happy with him winning the TikTok wild card because of blackface and basically just plain racism in one of his previous videos. He also has been accused of sex in his songs, to which he responded with that he thinks people are initially right to criticize that because he glorifies alcoholism and has a lot of sexism in his songs, but covers that with humor and obvious satire. That didn't really change anything about the way German and international Euro fans looked at him. Anyway, he became part of what was supposed to be a 10 song lineup of the national final, but that lineup became a lineup of nine songs since the lead singer of Glitter Gold fell ill and had to withdraw. Despite being seen as the favorite to win, because of his huge fan base in Germany, Ike Hüftgold ended up on the second place of the national final, mostly thanks to the televotes because he was being awarded the lowest amount of votes from almost every international jury. In the end, Lord of the Lost won with the song Blood and Glitter. Can I just say that I absolutely do not get how Ike Hüftgold got through the selection committee. Like, a person like this is representing your country on the biggest stage of the world. No matter if someone gets the most votes in the TikTok round, why would you still select him? when? something like this comes to light. I mean, lots of German and international fans were very against him participating, so why not listen to them? I mean, in 2016, Xavier Naidu was also withdrawn as an artist for Germany's Eurovision Song Contest because of controversy surrounding his previous work, and he was an internally selected artist, so I don't get why you would make someone like this still compete in a national final when you already have other artists that no one is complaining about regarding previous work that could could still go to Eurovision without having the chance of someone like Ike Hufgold going to Eurovision and representing your country on the biggest stage of the world. I just don't get it, I don't get how the German broadcaster would not look at that, but I'm glad Ike Hufgold did not win. Still crazy he became the runner-up though, because he basically almost did still win. I did also really like the song Alle Frauen in Miesig Müde by Frida Gold. I was sad they had to withdraw, but I'm also happy with the winner Lord of the Lost, because Germany has a big heavy metal scene. I think together with Finland they have the biggest heavy metal scene in the world. <laughs> And I'm happy that Germany finally gets to showcase that part of their music scene on the Eurovision stage. Also, I think it's hilarious that Lord of the Lost met King Charles and performed in front of him. Germany is kind of known for ending up in the bottom five in the grand final of Eurovision. Though I sometimes say with good false hope that they'll end up higher than they have in this bottom placement streak, I think this year they're sending something so different from what they've sent before and from what we're seeing in this year's contest that I think they could end up higher than bottom five. Sure, there are more rock songs this year, but not with the style and aesthetic of Lord of the Lost. I do still think right hand side of the scoreboard right now, but at least higher than bottom five, which is where they've ended up every year since 2015, except for 2018, of course, when they ended up on the fourth place, like a random top five placement. I think they can at least count on votes from Finland, since they also have a big heavy metal scene, and they also gave their 12 points to Lord of the Lost in the national final, because they were part of the international juries. So to conclude, I think it's nice that Germany is sending something so different than what we're used from them. I think it's great that we're getting heavy metal from Germany. Germany this year, and I think this could be the year that Germany finally breaks that bottom five curse that Germany has suffered from for so many years. And that's about all for now. What do you think of Blood and Glitter? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and hopefully, until next time, I'll be the same.